we are going to see this example, simple example, using the uh, block diagram method. How do we actually go about doing the simulation when we start from scratch, basically? So we're going to, in general, I can tell you that what we need to do is to write the differential equations of the system and then transform those differential equations into a graphical form in Simulink. So based on that, I will do the development on this. So here we go, we say, okay, this is the, this is the, the mass in here. And around the mass, we are going to put the forces that we see that we need in here. So this is the free body diagram. This is the force. The direction of the displacement and the velocity are to the right that are positive here. This, this one right here is going to, if I move it to the right, this is going to oppose it to the left. Okay, so with value k times x. This one here will have one like this, with value bx dot. And this, of course, is the mass. <coughs> See, what's happening here is that <coughs> you're going to say the application of Newton's law is the summation of the forces acting on a rigid body equals to the rate of change of momentum, like this. Or written in another way, this is m times x double dot like that. So if this is true, we write the equation that says that F minus times x minus B times x dot is equal to mx double dot. Okay. So you see this is the, this is that summation here. And this is of course the rate of change of moment. Now, what I would advise you to do is not to reorganize the differential equation that you have in there, but rather I would like you to leave it like that because it's from the purposes of the block diagram, if you have it in summation form, it's actually better, it's easier. So I am gonna say, okay, look at the summation point we have this term and this term is specified in a block like this. This is the F then you have in here you have minus K times X and in here you have minus b times x dot, and this equals to mx double dot. This is step that I just did is very, very important because um, you need to get this one right to get the structure going because if, if you don't start here, then it's not gonna work. So, or it's gonna work, but maybe harder. So that's my recommendation here. Basically, what we have done is to transform the uh, is to transform the hold on for a sec. 
we have transformed this summation, this differential equation, into this little picture. So but the picture needs to be completed. See here, we can say if we, you multiply this by 1 over m, you obtain x double dot. If you integrate this by 1 over s, you're going to, to have x dot. And to obtain plain x, you'll have to integrate it again. One over s. And then you have x Okay, <clears throat> but you see this is x dot, which suggests that if we mult if we take this and we multiply it by b, we obtain this. Or if you take this and you multiply it by k, you're going to obtain this <coughs> so this is my block diagram that we need to uh, work in Simulink with so what we do is once we are ready we have prepared this block diagram, we are able to translate now the block diagram that we have into the computer. The other approach use a bone graph and put it into the system. Now it's our turn to do this by using this approach. So <coughs> what I would suggest is go into the Simulink in here. I'm going to reduce the the model small window so that we can actually work with Simulink. So let's start it on MATLAB in here. Where's MATLAB? right here okay so again <coughs> you see we have we're going the same route Do you realize now that both methods converge on the MATLAB side one uh, describes is through M files you could also, using this method, you could enter the differential equations in M5, the way we derive them and do integrations, but normally you, you go to simulate, that, that's what you do. So, but we're going to go is we say, okay, simulink, yeah. We haven't gotten yet a response. We're still thinking about it. Once we get the Simulink uh, uh, running, we will open a new case, a new file, and trans translate. Trans no, translate transfers. 
this block diagram into the simulator. That's what we want to do. Yeah, there it is. So what I would do is this. Just go and open a new one, a new case. Because that's what that does. And go to where it says commonly used blocks. <laughs> Everybody has his own style of doing things, and mine is, I look at the block diagram that I have to do, and I realize, see, I have the sources, I have these integrators, the scope, the summation point, and some gains. So, what, what I would like to do is, First, let's just bring this one. So we're going to need like three of this. This is that constant in here that I told you about. We need that one. We need these integrators, two of these. Uh, then we need a scope one. Of course, you can always change this. Okay. There we go. Oh, we are. <coughs> I'm forgetting the summation point. That's a big deal. Very important. Right here. Because on the original graph, how many connections do we have? You see, we have uh, we have four of them: three inputs, one positive, two negative ones. So we need to we need to do that. So we double click on this. So we have one positive and two negatives. Yeah, there you go. So it's a little better. Right, so in here we this is the value of this is the force F, right? Just gonna do F in here. Connect this to the to here. This one's connect like this. This thing is one over M. <coughs> this ones we need to flip. We do a control I for inversion. Like that. And this other one goes over here. And this other one goes to this one, see? Yeah. Do you see? I have finished now hopefully you were following also but 
right now all we gotta do is to put the numbers to put the, to put the see MATLAB doesn't know these numbers this one also this is 1 over m it doesn't know this one is b in here no here and this was k yeah so what do you need to do in this case is you could enter the other prompt like f is equal to 10 how did I have it in there? B is what I have, you know, B is equal to 3. Okay, we put K also, K is equal to 40. What else do we need? Uh, the mass, the, the spring, the mass is also like two, we don't. Yeah. And so if you go back to the Simulink picture right here, you could actually, this is the position, you know, this is the, you could actually here say run like this. Let's see if, if I'm lucky or not. It's working. And it actually did run, see? There's the response. So you have seen it both ways. We need to go more deep into this. And we need to, to review the concepts that we have for the a generation of the state space form as well as the transfer function. So that's the other review that we need right now. But this one is, you can tell th there is a big difference between the two methods. One, in the Bondra method, you let the computer write the equations. On this one, you are writing the equations. You, there's no getting around. You know, if you don't get the equations, you don't get this block diagram either. Because the block diagram is a representation, a, a mathematical representation of the differential equations. Okay. So I, I hope this introduction has been helpful uh, to look at how to do the same example both ways.